Hello, Bariatric World, um, Healthy Eaters. Um, I just basically um, I'm coming on today just to um, talk about um, more self-sabotage. Uh, I My mom just had a birthday the other day, and um, we had a little small get-together for her. Um, and of course, there's things there that I can eat, things that I can't eat, but mostly things that I cannot eat, you know. And um, it's really, really weird how your mind plays tricks on you, you know, to make you think, well, maybe, you know, then you think about it. Well, wait a minute now, you know better. So stick to the healthy stuff. Stick to the things that you can eat. No, you know, the sugar and the salts and all that stuff. Um, anyways, um, so what I did was I had salad and my um, niece had bought Boston Market and um, yeah, and so I had some of that the um, rotisserie chicken breast, no skin, just the meat part and um, and I just had salad with you know I had um, tomatoes and stuff like that with it, but that's about all I ate and I only can get in. Um, on a good day, I can get in a full three ounces, maybe a bit more, but on a bad day, I can only get maybe about two and a half ounces in because, you know, I had to R&Y, for those of you who don't know me, I had to R&Y and it's very restrictive. Today, um, basically, I'm here because this is my two month, uh, <laughs> so so, um, and um, so I'll speak about that too, but yeah, but the self-sabotage thing, um, it really was, um, it really can be a big challenge when you go, you know, to gatherings with families or friends or what have you, and everyone's, you know, basically eating whatever, you know, but you have to be very selective. It's hard, it's hard, 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 but in the end, you will be very, very happy. Um, I actually um, uh, am right on point with my weight loss. Um, today is the 21st of February 2016. I had my surgery December 21st, 2015. And um, as of today, I weighed 227 pounds. The day of surgery, I was I think I was 264, 263, 264. So, I mean, I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> and, you know, and I'm in my... 220s and I haven't seen my 220s since the 80s and, so, and uh, yeah I, you know and for me and me and my age which is I'm, I'm 54 so my age you know has a lot to do with my weight loss slowing up and you know um I didn't eat very healthy I should have but I didn't and you know and I come from a family where we are genetically we are a larger we're larger size people especially the woman in my family. And um, um, I just basically want to, um, you know, be at a healthy weight and look better in my clothes and be at a healthy weight. So um, I went from a 20 to 24 day of surgery to now I'm in a size 16. And the other day, um, I noticed that my 16s were getting big on me. So... Hopefully, 12, 14 is coming up. Um, or well, I would say 14, 16, 16, 18, this kind of things, but I'm closer to a, a 14, 16 right now. Um, hopefully, soon, 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 12, 14. But um, if I get to be a size 10 or a size 8, which I was in high school, I would be satisfied. I really don't think I'll ever be a size 2 or size 4 or even a size 6. If I get to be a size 6, Oh, okay, then I've lied <laughs> to myself, but you know, um, 150 is my goal weight. Um, so hopefully, you know, within my year that they say it takes, they say within the first six months you lose the most weight. Anyhow, um, so I believe that to be true because my weight is just dropping. But anyways, um, yeah, so that's I kind of touched on self sabotage. I kind of told you guys about my progress. Um. Uh, I showed you guys in a previous video about food. Food is um, the reason why I was overweight, not eating the right 
types of foods and eat it at the wrong times of day and night and stuff like that. Um, but food is also the reason why I am losing weight. You know? So, and, and, and the fact that I'm losing weight, eating healthy and eating smaller portions and um, me having, having that restrictive surgery um, is the reason I do eat smaller portions because I no, I would not be able, I would not be able to eat these small portions and be satisfied for hours and hours on end, but I am. I don't do any type of acid appetite suppressants. Um, I do not do any of that. I do not do any type of diet pills. Okay. I take my supplements, which um, you can look it up, you know, your vitamins, your multivitamins, and, you know, your B12s and your calcium, all these different things that you have to take once you have the surgery for the rest of your life. Um, I was doing the Flintstones chewables, but I'm not doing that anymore. I found a good over 50 multivitamin, and it has a lot of good stuff. It's called, um, I think it's Simply One, Simply One, Woman Over 50, and you guys can check that out. Um, but I like it because it has, um, I have almost, can almost probably eliminate some of the supplements that I'm taking because it's, it has such a high, high, high amount of the um, daily dosage of vitamins and stuff. But by me having the surgery and my body does not absorb them as well, you know, I can, I should take two, one in the morning and one a little bit later in the afternoon. That way, I'm really getting it all in there. But you still got to be careful because you can get too much of one certain thing. So, but that's my choice. That's what I choose to do. And you, you need to do what's best for you. But for me, when I take pills, it takes up room in my stomach. And it's hard for me. It's almost like eating a, eat like a meal. All, all those pills are sitting in your stomach. And they sit in your stomach. And you have to digest them. And they have to go down. And they have to absorb. And so, it, it takes a while for me. And so, I taking all those pills is kind of hard for me. To get that in, fluids in food, it's really hard. And um, I do the best I can every single day to make sure that I eat healthy and I eat between 800 to 1,000 calories. If I don't get 1,000 calories, I at least try and get 800 calories in. Because as I stated before to you guys, when they say you have to get those certain cal those certain amount of calories, it's basically to help you to not plateau in your weight loss. And it's so your body won't believe that you're starving yourself. And going to starvation mode and now you're packing on the weight because you know you're really defeating the purpose of what you did this for so you really do want to make sure your calories are on point um you you know your, your 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 serving sizes portion sizes are on point um you know your supplements are on point all these different things it's delicate balance very delicate you know your your um your fluids you know your protein all these things you can get all this in with two and a half, three ounces of stomach. So I, I'm, I'm starting from the morning I open my eye, which is around six thirty in the morning, seven, with my, with my water, 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 and then you know I go on to some breakfast and, and then protein and water and stuff like that, and my vitamins, you know, in between all those different things. Um, I take things for constipation because I never had any issue with diarrhea since the surgery, but I've had constipation issues, so I use my uh, Miralax in the morning and I use my fiber um bit of fiber in my foods and my drinks and stuff and that's how I get by and it works for me um last time I showed you guys the, all my whole grain pastas and different things like that I haven't had I haven't had well I was gonna make some macaroni and cheese with the whole grain and, and I haven't done that but I do eat the whole grain rice at times and I get my vegetables in all the time every day you guys You've got to get your vegetables in. You have to. You really do. But um, anyways, so that's, so that's what I eat. Um, I eat, I'll tell you a little bit more about what I eat that I didn't mention. I do eat um, chicken breast, lean chicken breast. Try and get the best chicken that you can get because you don't eat a whole lot of it. So you really should be eating the best types of foods, organic, the best types of cuts of meat that you can get. Lean. I don't care what type of meat you eat. And if you don't eat meat, that's still okay. You still got to get your protein in there. And it has to be quality protein. So whatever you do, you make sure. Whether you're vegan, whether you're vegetarian, you're meat eater like me. I eat meat. And that's where my, most of my protein comes from. And also beans. So, you know, vegans and vegetarians, you guys eat beans. I eat beans too. I eat 
all types of beans. All types of beans. I should show you guys my beans, but I have lots of beans, and I do live on that too. Um, watch your fatty meats, you know. Um, and um, watch your sugars, you know. Um, and um, there's desserts and stuff. Watch that, you know. It's hard when you go around gatherings, but it, 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 you you can do it if you really truly want to do it. You can do it. Okay, because I know if I can do it. And I know what I used to, and I know I love sweets. I love desserts and stuff. Mm -mm. Well, my health and my life is more important than that, you know. Even the sugar-free stuff, or you still got to be careful with that stuff. I eat my sugar-free popsicles. That's what I do, you know. And that's basically what I get. And I do a little bit of crystal light. I stopped. I, I was just doing plain water, but now I do a little bit of crystal light with my um, Miralax. Okay, you guys, so that's just kind of a little quick update. Um, be safe, you know, watch what you do. Be safe with what you put in your mouth. You got to be very careful when you have bariatric surgery because, you know, it's a very serious surgery and there's some very serious things going on inside your body. And your body's confused and it wants what it wants and it wants to get back to what do you, you know, get back to what it was and stuff. And, you know, after a while, your body will lose the memory of the sugars and all of that stuff. And eventually, you know, you it won't even crave it. You know, my cravings have gotten so much better, you know. I think they're just about gone, you know. But um, anyways, okay, you guys, that's about it. And um, I'll pop back in soon. I'll talk to you guys again very soon. And um, hope everybody's doing great. And um, Hopefully, if I, I have inspired someone, because if you're considering bariatric surgery, whichever one you just, you, I, was, I would suggest you do it. And if you're seriously ready, seriously ready, do it. If you're still on the fence, take your time, think about it. It's a big decision. But if you're seriously ready to do this, do it. It will save your life. Okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Peace and blessings.